Born again believer, let's talk about taking thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ and overcoming evil with good. There's a lot I could talk about with this. We're going to touch on a few and the Holy Ghost will take it from there. Now that being said, there's only one who's considered good and that's God. And there's only one way to overcome evil and sin in the world, and that's through the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their life unto death. Now, in Romans chapter 12, verse 21, above that, it talks about if your enemy's hungry, give them something to eat. And we know Jesus is considered the bread of life, the bread from above. So give them Jesus. Tell them the good news about Jesus, because how can they believe unless a preacher sent? Now, he also says, if your enemy's thirsty, now an enemy is a person that's not born again. They wouldn't be called an enemy. They'd be called brother if they were born again. So if they're thirsty, give them the cup of salvation. The cup of salvation is Jesus. And Jesus says, if any comes and drinks from him, they shall thirst no more. He wants them to repent, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that they can be saved. And it's the goodness of God that leads people to repentance. Now, that could also be talked about in a literal sense. If you have an enemy and they're mistreating you, and now they're in a place where they're hungry and they can't afford food or water, give them some food and water and tell them about Jesus. Um, Jesus also said this. He said that he was persecuted, and if they persecuted the master, they're going to persecute us. Talking about born-again believers. But he says, bless those that despitefully use you. And and he says, overcome evil with good, right? So so how do you do that? Well, maybe God tells you to go and witness to somebody. Well, of course, he's going to tell you to do that. And you go and you begin to tell them about Jesus. And in this case, this person starts cursing you out. And and uh, as soon as you ask them for a prayer, they start cursing you out and all this kind of stuff. And they storm off. And a carnal thought comes and says, don't pray for them. They don't deserve it. Well, instead of listening to that carnal thought, we do what's written, and we bless those that despitefully use us. We intercede on the behalf of them. And we say, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're talking about. Soften their heart. Open their eyes to see and to know the truth about you so that they can eat the bread from above you, and they can drink from your cup, Lord, so that they call upon your name. So that would be taking a carnal thought captive and responding according to what's written, and given them the kingdom of God. And of course, you don't do this in your own strength. You do this by the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not by might, it's nor by power. It's by the Holy Spirit. And he's going to help you walk by the Spirit and not the flesh. So be blessed in Jesus' name. Be encouraged. And when those carnal thoughts come, take a captive and just tell them about Jesus and show them the kingdom. Freely you receive, freely give.